Hello everyone. In our previous lecture, we have discussed about how to convert the Epsilon NFA to DFA. Now, let us discuss about minimization of DFA. Here, we have the transition table and the equivalent DFA for the regular expression A or B closure ABB. So, we have seen this construction in our previous lecture. Now, let us see how to minimize this DFA using equivalence method. First, we have to find the zero equivalence. Zero equivalence means we have to segregate the final state and non-final states into separate sets. So, here non-final states are A, B, C, D and final state is E. So, we can write it separately. Next, we have to find the one equivalence. One equivalence means we have to check the set. We have to find the pair A, B and check the transition on input A and B. So, if we see A on A and A on B, it is B, C. B on A and B on B, it is B, D. So, if this B, C, D are available in this set, then we say that A and B are one equivalent. So, since B, C, D are available, so we consider that A and B are one equivalent and we represent it as a set. Next, we have to consider this A, B and then compare with C. So, either we can check for A, C or B, C because A and B are both same. So, we will be having a B, C comparison. So, if we check for B, C, on input A and B, it is B, D and B, C, that is B, C, D. So, let us check whether B, C, D is available in this set. Yes, it is available. So, we can conclude that A, B is equivalent to C. So, we can have A, B, C as one set. Next, we can compare A, B, C with D. So, we can go for either A, D, B, D or C, D. So, let us go for C, D. So, if we check for C, D, it is B, C and B, E for the input A and B. So, we have uh, B, C, E. B, C is available, but E is not available. So, we can say that A, B, C is not equivalent to D. So, we can represent A, B, C as one set, D as one set and E as separate set. Next, we have to construct the two equivalence. So, for two equivalence, we have to consider this set in one equivalence. Again, we have to compare A, B. So, if we check for A, B, we have the uh, transitions uh, B, C and B, D for input A and B. So, B, C, D. So, B, C is available, but D is not available. So, we can say that A and B are not two equivalent. So, we have to check for next A, C. So, A, C, if we check, uh, it has uh, B, C and B, C for the input A and B. Both B and C are available here. So, we can say that A and C are equivalent. So, we can have A, C as one set. B has to be taken to the separate set because it is not equivalent to A. So, we have A, C, B separately and then D and then E. Next, we have to find the three equivalence. So, for three equivalence, let us consider this set A, C. So, if we check for A, C, again we have B, C and B, C in for both input A and B in A and C. Since both are having the same state transitions, we can stop here. So, we have the same states A, C, B, D and E. Now, we have found the equivalence states. So next, we have to construct the minimized transition table. So, in this, both A and C are equivalent. So, instead of having uh, two states, we can have only one state that is A. So, we can remove this C and replace wherever we have C, we can replace it with A. So, according to this uh, table, we have removed the row C and here we have C and here we have C, we have replaced it with, with A. So, this is the minimized transition table. Now, let us construct the minimized DFA using this minimized transition table. So, our initial state is A. A on input A, it is going to B. And A on input B, it is going to A itself as shown here. And then B on input uh, A, it is going to itself that is B. B on input B, it is going to the state D. Next, D on input A, it goes to B. D on input B, it goes to the state E. E on input A, it goes to uh, B. And E on input A, it goes to A. So, thus we have the minimized DFA here. So, in this lecture, we have seen about how to minimize the DFA. Thank you.